The furniture had been shoved against the walls, and now the couples were dancing, flushed and wild-eyed. The whole place smelled of aftershave and sweat, cigarette smoke, and dousings of our page perfume a couple of the women had gotten for Christmas. The tree in the corner looked about to burst into flames. One string of lights was burnt out. Another flickered and, and burnt and buzzed menacingly. All the women were trussed up in girdles and tight, complicated dresses. They tottered on high heels. Imogene wore a sleeveless black swing dress and white fur cap that framed her face, accentuating her wide, dark eyes. Her feet, delicate as two ladybugs in patent leather flats. You look like Audrey Hepburn, Ethel told her. Hydrangeas would look so pretty back there, Imogene said, leaning over the kitchen sink to look out the window at Ethel and Harry's snow-covered backyard. Maybe a plum tree. Not much of a gardener. Imogene surveyed the bare uh, expanse that had interrupted only by a wooden shed in disrepair, a fence along the alleyway. That's a shame, she said. Imogene was the only single woman present. There were three couples, Ethel and Harry, the Little Johns, the O'Connors, then Imogene, 